Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. Winter's here. We have snow in the forecast within the next seven days. So today guys, we have to prepare the landscaping business for snow removal. That means putting all the plows on the trucks, the salters in the beds, and getting all the skid steers ready to go. On my way over to the shop this morning, I stopped by Tractor Supply. I bought two Troy built snow blowers. They were $850 a piece here. We'll be using these for those walkways, but let's hop in the truck. We really need to get on over to the shop here. There's a lot of work. I already did a little bit of the preparation, but let's get over there and get the plows on. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Like I mentioned guys, snow is in the forecast here. Now we do have a few more jobs I really want to get done. Uh, so maybe we could try to squeeze them in. If the ground is not frozen, I think we're still going to be working. But we need to be prepared for the snowstorms. Because now oh, it's time uh, to get these trucks working, pushing snow. This winter season, guys, we have a lot of trucks here and a lot of equipment that we need to get ready here. Probably half dozen trucks and a half dozen skid steers. And we do have a few miscellaneous things here. So why don't we, for now, I just want to do a quick walk around just to let you guys have an update here. So both the dually trucks are ready to go here. I got the fuel uh, containers out of them. I got the hitches removed, the tailgates removed, and we'll be able to put uh, snow plows on these here. We have uh, the dumb truck ready to go here. So I'm thinking, why don't we get uh, the personal truck here, the F-250 uh, plow on it here. That way uh, we could set this to the side and get all these work trucks done. And look at that, guys. We have all the uh, plow equipment here. I spend quite a bit of time organizing it, making sure that all the blades, everything is good to go. I spent the entire weekend here with several employees. We worked quite a bit of overtime here, but we have several plows. Uh, they are all wide outs here. We have a Fisher and Western Star. So we got this attached here. We just have to hook up the hydraulics here. Uh, now, see, we want to make sure it's going to work here. Uh, they sit all season. All right, we got the Fisher on the truck here. I just wanted to make sure everything was good there. So I put down the camera. I was a little rusty at it there. So we got that truck done. But now, guys, I really want to get both the dually trucks. I want to get the salters in because that is going to take the most time having to get those uh, strapped down to bed and things like that. Uh, so let's get both these trucks ready to go. The Silverado Dually is the last truck that we have to put the salt spreader on. Now the uh, Chevy 5500 guys we're still going to be using on some projects and uh, I will be doing a little bit of contract work here. The Peterbilt and the Mac are going to be used all winter long here. We're going to be hauling snow and we're going to be hauling uh, materials for some construction companies there. So I'm trying to keep everything busy running that way. We are still making uh, some money other than just snow plowing here. But now we have to get turned around here and attached here. This is actually the first truck that is going to be using a western snow plow on it. Little bit more right about there should be good here. These have the very quick mounting systems, which is awesome. And then look at this, guys, with all the strobe lights on it. This truck you are definitely going to be able to see at night now. For now, I'm just trying to get everything on, and then we'll have to get the salt spreaders filled up here. But let's see, we have a few more trucks we have to do, including the F 250 here. Now, this truck, guys, is actually a gas truck, so I, I'm not sure what we're really going to be doing. I'm not sure how much power it's really going to have pushing snow here but we'll still put a smaller plow on it and see how it does but let's put the plow on a cummins with the f-250 we're going to be putting a small seven and a half foot snow plow on this i'm not sure what we're really going to be doing with this but that's what came with the truck so we're just going to use it here i don't really want to put a big big 
a 10 foot wide out plow on it here because I'm not really sure if it's capable of it but let me know down below here so there we have it guys we have all the trucks ready to go which is awesome here but now we have several other things here I want to do the more complex things so why don't we get started off here with a John Deere tractor we need to put a snow blower and a snow plow on the front This John Deere tractor setup, guys, is going to come in quite handy here for us. We are going to be able to do a lot of the snow removal with this. And actually, we're going to be using this a lot, most likely, to push back snow piles that are just too big. Because if we get a lot of snow, guys, there's no place to put it. And that snow blower is going to really help us out here. Why don't we do the backhoe then? I think other than that, we just have all the skid steers here. I mean, look at all the skid steers that we have to put uh, plows on here. And you guys can see I put all the excavators in the back. We might be able to still use them. Like I mentioned, if the weather gets a little bit warmer, I still want to do a few projects here. But for now, we're going to be focused on snow plowing. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below here. This is one of my favorite times of the year here, preparing for snow plowing. It is just a lot of fun to be pushing snow late at night. Making that money is always awesome here, but we are gonna be running a boss uh, pusher on this, a 10 foot pusher. And this thing, guys, is gonna be awesome here. We can move a lot of snow here with this. Now, one thing, I should probably get everything attached and then try to organize a shop and the yard because we have to fit everything inside. Hopefully everything's gonna fit. We have several skid steers that do have tracks on it here so we actually put snow tracks on them so we should have no problem and it's gonna be even better than snow tires or regular wheels which is gonna be awesome here but let's keep going right about there should be perfect and that is gonna be awesome here yeah this is gonna work out here for us uh, I believe this is an 8 foot pusher so a little bit smaller than the backhoe uh, which is uh, uh, still gonna move a lot of snow here skid steers are just so versatile and so helpful for snow removal Next, guys, I actually want to tackle the Bobcat S76 here. This is one of two wheeled skid loaders we have. And the other skid loader, I think we're going to be using more as a backup. We'll keep it here at the shop. But for this one, guys, we are actually going to be changing out these tires for snow tires here. Because these is like ice skating. You're just slotting around on the pavement. And that is not too good here. So I'm going to get out the jack, switch the tires, and then we can put a pusher on it. And look at that guys, we got the tires on here. These look awesome here. So these are actually Bobcat branded tires. I do know that you could just buy third party here, but this is gonna be awesome. Now when you're on gravel with tires like this, it is super uh, touchy. So I will try to be careful here. There's just so much power uh, now and we'll be able to not have any problem. We'll be able to push a lot of snow with this, which is awesome here. But wow, I mean, we are making really good progress. About half the day done and we have almost everything ready to go. Why don't we hop in the Kubota track skid loader? This will be my first year snow plowing with Kubotas, so that will be really awesome here. But the next task, guys, is actually to drop several of these off at the commercial parking lots here at a few apartment buildings. That way we don't have to trailer them every snowfall. They're just there. You show up uh, with your uh, personal truck or one of the work trucks, and you just hop in the machine. That's the way to do it. And I think that is going to be awesome here. But wow, guys, we only have a few more plows. And my camera battery is running quite low. Well, guys, here we have it. We're prepared for winter, which is super exciting. Here you guys can see we have a lot of the fleet right out front. Here we do have several more inside the shop. And we do have trucks over there as well. Now, there is the F-250 that I have to put the plow on. But I'm waiting because I think we're going to do a job or two. That way, we don't have to... Uh, a haul a heavy trailer load and a snow plow on the front here but guys that's gonna be pretty much it here we're ready to go now it's time to have the snow fall and we can get to work but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more